We have traveled the stars. We have traveled through time. We came across one unmistakable truth. The future is wrestling. We have brought the best wrestlers from across time and space to compete for honor and glory. This is Stone's Galactic Wrestling Federation, what the universe is watching. Welcome to Paragons Wrestling. Today is uh, Tuesday, June the 30th. Last day of June. Year is halfway over. And let's get out of 2020 as fast as we possibly can. All right, before we move on, we've got some announcements. Uh, Roadblock is now signed as a player owned wrestler. He will be uh, de uh, debuting on Sunday. Uh, basically, uh, even though he's a wrestler that we have, uh, any time we get a non-player wrestler become a player owned, they get a extra match to give them a bump in things and stuff. So that will happen on Sunday. Um, Ted DiBiase has been released due to corruption charges. And uh, we've sent him back in time where he's supposed to be wiped his memory of everything that he's seen here and uh we wish him well back in his own timeline and uh we're also going to announce that demon king elijah jones will be de will be debuting as well on sunday morning we are expecting another male wrestler to be uh, uh debuting soon as well as a female wrestler Probably on Sunday as well. So, new wrestlers coming in. Uh, that's all I got, I think. And next week we should be back to our normal schedule. Um, oh yeah, tonight there was supposed to be a regular non-title match between JR and Velvet Dove. Hey, Katie Shore. Uh, I'm doing well, how are you? And... Um, Fraga 2 spent 50,000 points to change that to a title match. So Velvet Dove has to defend her title tonight against JR. So that will be our main event tonight. Uh, but we are going to start off with the Baroness versus Candy Mandy. Boop and boop. Hey, Wolfpack. Right, Ro uh, Roadblock is owned by Wolfpack now. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. I don't think I said that Making before. Making her way to the ring, accompanied by the Destroyer. Wait, what? And oh, from Berlin, oops. And Germany, the Bear and Apparently I'm hiding. What a great match we have here to start off Boop, this there we go. Am I glad to check twice when boop, I saw boop. this match listed as our opener? I mean, it could very well fit our main event. Oh, man. I got to turn off commentating, too. God love it, because I had this on from yesterday. <sighs> I don't think we can turn it off when the match is already in progress. We will do that immediately after this match. Because no one wants to hear Corey Graves and Michael Coleman. Michael Cole. Cole, man. And her opponent from Cleveland. Katie Scheuer, are you wrestling? Star. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I think so. 
Yep, you're going one on one against Lady Red. You're the first match after our intermission. Nothing more than to get their hands on one another. You can click on the on the link just above you actually. You can see all the matches. And they are in the proper order. Here we go. Candy Mandy squares off against none other than none other than the Baroness. You need to warn Singles folks for your flip flop. Yeah, well, uh, um, it was. Sometimes I did kind of say it in Discord, and uh, women, I was not having a. I haven't been having a good week, so. Oh, this is not good at all. The pen well, that'll break you in half. I was not in a good spot to commentate on a wrestling show, but I didn't want to miss the show. So I, 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 I think I got the stream running with me doing it, and I just, no. So we finish it off. There we go. But uh, it's been a good day today, so... See you later, LB. Glad everyone. We have more training on Saturday. Oh, cool. Oh, good luck, everyone. Ah, oh, I got gotcha. you. Ooh, what impact. Daughter got She's burglarized at work and messed with the whole past week. Oh, God. Safeguarding the home and vehicles. Yikes. I hope she didn't lose, like, any... <sighs> like you know, on you know like not like the uh like not like the house right but uh but her workplace got burglar okay because i was thinking you know like one of the worst things to have happen is to is have somebody to lift your wall wall wall, wall plate, right because then you have to go get all of your uh drive driver's licenses and all that stuff again what a pain in the all cars Oh my god, keys to the house? Yeah, 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 that's not good. I'm sorry, man. Candy Mandy going in for that cover. She kicks out. Candy Mandy can't believe it. She thought this was it. It was over. Wow. What an elbow, right across the chest. Right in the Cobra Insignia. And she's going in for the cover again. Only a one count this time. Oh my god, the commentators are driving me crazy. Oh, Baroness reverses it. Hello, Maddie B. How are you doing, buddy? You know, she's the kind of competitor that actually likes getting hit. Baroness again her. gets her up. Oh my Star. god, That's that wasn't a brain buster. That was a shoulder breaker. And the Candy and Mandy the kicks out. So they had access to home vehicles, and she got the car She's close after only one it. bogus. Oh well, it's lucky it's only one. Got stuck in the rain, and oh, now you're soaked. Oh, oh dude, Good I'm sorry, man. Oh man, she sun sunset flip. See, I don't mind the rain. I, I'll go outside. I don't care. I'm, I'm, I'm good with, you know. I mean, I don't, I don't necessarily want to go out and get soaked, but. Right to the face. Back now inside. As, as extra baptism. Uh. What's Carrie saying? Carrie, what Carrie was? Uh, what were we gonna get? What the heck it was? Oh, I know what it was. We left candles outside, and it was raining. And Carrie's like, "I don't want to go. There's raining. It's pouring rain. Like, You're not gonna melt. 
So I ran. I, I didn't even Great run outside. I just walked Jimmy outside and grabbed it. It doesn't get much better than this. Uh, I don't think we're going to be having any more rain for a bit now. Oh, Candy Mandy with a power bomb into the pin. And there we go. Candy Mandy is your winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Oh, that's a Twitch. Candy Mandy. And pinfall. We are definitely going to change this up. Almost forgot about this one. After we've, we've done all the replay stuff. So God, I really got to get rid of the Corey Graves and stuff. I remember this part very well. I remember this part very well. Hell. And here's how she finished this thing. See, that's not bad. Here is your winner, Candy Mandy. And the first match of the night that means Candy Mandy, Mandy could have a chance of being in the Battle Royal next week. A Not a guaranteed shot, but that's what we're doing from now on, is if you win your regular singles match or triple threat or four-way or something, as long as it's a regular match, not like a qualifying match or Twitch championship or, or anything like that, then you have a chance to be in the Battle Royal next week. So doing it that way will let us um, will let us uh, make sure that people are not in the battle royal week after week, right? And yes, we do have tickets. The next match has okay. all the makings um, let's of exit a great from one. here. Triple yes, I want to exit. There will be a triple threat match. But Corey Graves and Michael Cole can go to heck. Uh, Comment here. Boop, boop, boop. There we go. There we go. Continue. Let's go back. All right, triple threat match. Uh, baby Rankster. Oh man, if I can type Baby Rankster, Charlotte, Flair, and Psylocke. One fall to a finish. No multi betting. Just pick your poison. And right away, Carrie, as soon as I sat down here, began to talk, he's like, Can I come up? He knows when I'm on. A hundred percent he knows. Because he was sitting down and, and, and sleeping on the um, coffee table thingy. Oh, I forgot to give Carrie points. For her win. 500. There we go. And here we go. Baby Ranks is owned by, guess what? Baby Ranks. From Minnesota, Babe Eve. Babe Eve. Baby Rankster. And what? She's going to take off those glasses, but the glasses will stay on. She's taking off, like, these extra glasses that you can't see. Rave time. All right. All right. Now, again, I'm going to remind you all. Just keep an eye on her. When she looks to her right, your left, she'll look over and throw me a wink. Special for Old Stone. Go. Wait for it. It's coming soon. And bam. 
thank you. I'll just tuck that away over here. And we are hitting up the cider, so as we go, things are gonna get sloppy. Psylocke. Two of only a handful of non-player owned wrestlers that we still have. Tomorrow is a... Yes, it is for us. Are you in... Um, you're in Chicago, right? Gotta be betting on Psylocke. No, wait, Charlotte Flair. Really? For you, too. Really? What's what's uh, July 1st for you guys? Here we go. So, again, it's one fall to a finish. Because I know that you guys have uh, July 4th. That's on the... It's on Saturday, right? Wow, baby ranks out. Oh my god. Or is Canada get limited to Canadians? Um, it's our federal day. Like, it's a federal day off. So everyone gets it up here. I didn't know uh, that America... I didn't think America... Oh my god, I think Baby Rangsta just nailed Jeffy. I didn't think that uh, the U.S. Did, did July 1st. I mean, our uh, July 1st is... The same as your July 4th. Yeah, that's not going to happen. Get out of here, Bob Bob. Jeebus. To celebrate? I mean, you're more than welcome, welcome to. <laughs> Yeehaw. Yeehaw. Uh, that's a TV show I remember from back in the day. No, not Yeehaw. It was Hee-Haw. Bob, seriously. Get out of here, man. He's like biting on me. He's like, hey, pay attention to me. Pay attention to me. Yeah, and then he runs away. <laughs> yeah, I remember Hee Haw from way back. Oh my god, Charlotte Flair just took out Psylocke. What a big clothesline there. Charlotte's got Psylocke again. Hurricane Rana by Psylocke. And Baby Ranks is back in the ring. Kick to the midsection. Flips over into a sunset flip. Turns her over and puts her into a Ranks to lock. I don't know what that is, but sure. Ranks to lock. Looking for a submission. Charlotte Flair nails Jeffy. I think Charlotte Flair was trying to break up the submission. But instead, she nailed Jeffy. That's twice that he's been hit in the same match. Psylocke gets clocked by Ranksta and clothesline down to the floor. Ranks, oh no, Ranksta going to the top rope. Way up, oh my god. Rest in peace, Psylocke's face. Ranksta's got this one in, in control, that's for sure. Jeffy is getting beaten up. He's getting beaten up bad. Psylocke breaks out of a couple elbows to the midsection. And Psylocke will run back in. Ranks will run back in. Now Charlotte's back in. 
Oh my god, Charlotte takes Jeffy out. Charlotte took Jeffy out at the knees. <laughs> Someone's got to clip that. Oh my god. Good lord. <laughs> Holy crud. Oh, double drop kick. Ranks uh, and Charlotte Flair. Ran <laughs> and then assisted leg drop. And now Charlotte Flair and Baby Ranks have put their uh, teamwork aside. <laughs> Jeffy is still down. Jeffy has not gotten back. There we go. Holy crud. Just in time for Ranks to, to cover Charlotte Flair. No, Charlotte Flair kicks out at one. Where where are you tonight? Why did you leave me here all alone? I searched the world over and thought I found true love. You met another and Hail Blackwell you were is gone. now following. Okay. I have no idea what that's from. Thank you for the follow. Hail Blackwell. Hail Blackwell. Very sorry for all the nonsense you're gonna see here. Rangsta. Waiting for Psylocke to get to her feet. Kick. No. Caught by Psylocke. Drops her down. Turns her over. Picks her up into a wheelbarrow. What? Wheelbarrow flapjack. Psylocke. What is she doing? Oh, my God. Into a submission. What is this? Charlotte Flair breaks it up. Your favorite from Hee Haw. Oh. Man. It's been a long time since I watched that show. Charlotte Flair now going up for the cover on Psylocke. One, two. Charlotte Flair kicks out. Psylocke kicks out. Wow. 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 It looked like Charlotte Flair was about to spear Psylocke, but Psylocke fought her way out of that. Yeah, Hee Haw, I remember it more. Um, my dad would watch it. And I was really young. Really, really young. The weekly skip by Roy Buck and the weekly guess. Okay. Like, I don't remember their names. I, re I If you show me a picture of them, I'd be like, yeah, that's them. Lady Ranks over the Hurricane Rana takes Charlotte Flair out, who rolls outside the ring. Now Ranks can focus on Psylocke. Psylocke has other plans in mind. And she will, good lord, take Ranks to down. And goes in for that cover. Oh, my God. One, two... Ranks that kicks out. Psylocke with a scissors hold on Ranks' head. Ranks breaks out of it. I think she might have been too close to the ropes. So your mom only watched Golden Girls, and my stepdad watched sports, racing, and wrestling. Golden Girls, man. I definitely watched that with my grandmother. Uh, it was funny. I I didn't. I don't know if I really got a lot of the jokes back then. But when I watch things now, I'm like, oh my goodness. Oh boy. Ranks uh, gets her knee leg caught. So watch it when I can. It's still amazing. Yeah, it's 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 good it's good stuff. Oh look at that! Charlotte Flair nailed baby Rangsta and Psylocke climbed over to go in for a sneaky cover. Wait, what, wait, hold on. What? There are board games? Hold on, hold on. There's board games for for, for Golden Girls? Really? That's interesting. I will have a look at that after this match is over. Actually. I remember when I was waiting around. You were gone. Gord Gordy Tap and Archie Campbell. Yeah, I recognize that guy. Who's the other guy then? Who's the other guy I'm think I'm thinking of? Who 
He's sort of, oh, that's Johnny Cash. There's a guy with like, um, there's a guy with like more like a, like, I wouldn't say like a square, but more of a square kind of face, darker hair. Uh, I think when it was on the, on the, on, on the, on the, on the, in, on the intro, you would see him playing the banjo. I thought he was one of the main cast. Oh my god, over the top rope power bomb from the apron to the floor. Maybe Rangsta might be dead. Psylocke takes takes a huge chop from Charlotte Flair. Arm drag down. And Psylocke into the ring and shot across the chest. And a knee right to the side of the head. That might be it for Psylocke. Flair going in for the cover. We got one, two. And three, Charlotte Flair is your winner. Pinning Psylocke. Oh, Matty B, you picked it. Roy Clark. Is that who is that? Roy Clark. Yes. Yes. That's who I'm thinking of. It's Roy Clark. I am not, I am terrible with names. Terrible, terrible with names. Charlotte Flair is your winner. Here is your winner, Charlotte Flair. Ote. go tag team match we're gonna have the birds of prey versus sugar and spice this is like a rematch of the tag team championship match uh two months ago where birds of prey defeated sugar and spice to take their tag team title well about a month and a half ago two two pay-per-views ago Bow, come on, tag team. You can do it, tag team. Tag team, you can do it. I know you can. Oof. Uh, it's not. It's not frozen. It's just taking its sweet time to load. Go like that. Go like that. Go like that. Go like that. And off we go. Off we go. On the way to the ring, accompanied by Gordon Thomas and women's world pilot Doug and the lunatic Diana Drake. There are the Birds of Prey, Velvet Dove, and Lou. Velvet Dove does have a match later on tonight at the end of the night to defend her title against JR. Women's World, Violet Dove. Yep. JoJo's drinking just like me. And I am drinking. LB, it didn't take you that long to get back home. What the? Grim and Baker. What the heck's going on there? Well, that's... That's a good thing. 
one one of the drawbacks is, I mean where we live right now it doesn't take Carrie that long to drive to work like when Carrie did drive into work she's working from home like all the time now but it didn't take super long there's other people that have a far longer commute right but if we were to move further away that commute you know becomes longer right so is it worth it to be able to sell a house here and outright buy something further away but then sure you don't have to pay for a house hand anymore but your commute is terrible and you don't get to live in the house right you basically drive to the house sleep eat something and go back to work right so it's not it's not it's not so it's not so good right that is Velvet Dove getting elbowed by Maddie Hunter. It looks like Jeffy's going to look, ask them for a clean break. And they do. Maddie Hunter. Oh, no. The inverted atomic drop. Velvet Dove doesn't seem to phase her. Maddie Hunter with a shot from behind. And Dove with a shot from behind. Irish whip into the corner. Velvet Dove uh, gets thrown into the corner. Maddie Hunter. Irish whipped into the sugar and spice corner. Maddie Hunter comes in. Tags in the Baker. Baker. Oh, kick to the midsection. Oh, the fans don't like that too much. It was Kerry. The Baker. Good boy. The hammerlock got elbowed right in the chops. Gets Violet Dove. Velvet Dove. God. I've got Violet Dove in my head. Thanks, Elby. Baker's got Velvet Dove and takes down takes her down. Oh, she's gonna get up on her legs and stomp on them. Ugh. Rest in peace, those hamstrings. Baker's got Velvet Dove up. Oh, lumbar check. She's starting to work the back over. Get her ready for the chef special, I think. And as we know, the 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 Baker and Velvet Dove have met many times, and it seems like Velvet Dove has the Baker's number. As you see here, Velvet Dove drops a leg drop right across the Baker's face, waiting for her to get up. Gonna be getting. Looks like she's going to get... Oh, Baker caught her right before I think Velvet Dove was going to execute the Velvet Dove win uh, uh, Dove's Cry move, which has won her the Tag Team Championship, the Twitch Championship. Good Lord. There's a 50-year anniversary show on YouTube. Cue it for later. What, for Heat for... For, for Heat for He? For He Haw? There's a gut buster by the Baker. She seems to be a little bit more vicious tonight. Maybe see, looking to en enact or exact some revenge. Velvet Dove will tag in Lou for the first time. Lou now looking at Baker picks her up. Baker throws Lou over down. Over down onto the mat there, eh? And the Baker's got a submission in. Wraps her legs around her. Lou elbows her way out. Ooh, flips over, getting into a pin cover on the Baker. No, the Baker is able to kick out, or Lou just gave it up? Oh, no. Baker with a fireman carry takedown. Gets... Gets a punch blocked. Thrown into the corner. Baker dodged out of the way. Lou swats a drop kick aside. There we go. Pump action. Samoan slam. Or a throwaway slam. Lou feeling good. Very reversey. Uh, Maddie, a lot of the wrestlers are going to be doing a lot of reversing. Uh, we did add new AI options. Like we... Uh, tweaked them a bit so that the matches were a little bit more realistic-ish. 
I mean, it is a fake show, so. Uh, Lou looking for a submission. Has Maddie Hunter be even been in the ring? Yes, she has. The Baker, can she hang on? Yes, she can. The Baker pushes Lou off. Irish whip into the corner. Lou will take a boot right to the face. So it, it will be, it should be fairly, oh no, the Baker tried to take her out in the corner, jumped too early. Sunset flip powerbomb, good lord. <laughs> the Baker uh, jumped a little bit too early and didn't couldn't judge the distance between her and Lou. As Lou is in the corner. A kick to the midsection. The Baker is... Uh, will, Lou will do a kick to the midsection. Kick right to the face. And now Lou waiting for the Baker to get to her feet. Here we go. No, the Baker reverses. Kick to the midsection. Lou takes her down with an arm drag. Now is not the time to be playing reverse C. Oh. I have never played that game. Lou with a chin lock looking for the submission. Baker is like right by the ropes. She just can't quite get there. Baker gets out of it though. Kick to the midsection. Baker picks up Lou. Gets her up. Nice suplex. <laughs> the Baker talking some trash a little bit to Velvet Dove, too. Like, that one was for you. That suplex is for you. Now they're locked up again. Baker has Lou into a front face lock. Oh, big uppercut. Rocked Lou. Throws her down and over the top. And Sunset Flip Powerbomb again. The Baker stalking Lou. Are we going to see a chef special? I know she's going to want it. She gets her down, turns her over, and here we go. Chef special. Lou immediately gets out of it, pulls the Baker's feet out from under her before the Baker could really lock her in. But now the Baker just nailing Lou with a flying forearm. Holy crud. And I and I uh, and Maddie, I have to say, uh, with the new AI, like I get out of breath. A lot quickly. Lou with the small pack, or no, Baker with the small package. Good Lord. Words are hard. Again, the Baker has got her down into a pin. One, two. Oh, no. I don't know if Velvet Dove broke that up or Lou just was able to get out of it. I have not seen the Baker do that move in ever. Now here's Lou with a sharpshooter or a half a half Boston Crab. Man. I'm just going to go have another drink. Because words are hard. Uh, the other thing I noticed uh, Maddie with the new with the new AI rules is I've I've noticed a lot more small small pack small package pin attempts. Like like that, and which is which I like. Uh, I, I I like seeing those. Lou will drag Baker into the middle of the ring, and uh, we'll go in for that cover. Jeffy, come on, dude. I mean, really? One, two. Baker kicks out. I think Lou took too long. Lou went to headbutt her, but all that she got was Baker elbow. Nice drop kick right to the chest. Oh, Baker has Lou. Lou, no. Takes her arm, drops the Baker down. Lou sizing up the Baker. Getting ready for the uh, disarmor. There it is. Disarmor is cinched in. Baker nowhere even close to the ropes. Jeffy right there. Will the Baker tap? The Baker is not so good at submissions, but she can deliver them, but she's not so good at taking them. She does get out of this one. Oh, no, the Baker slipped. And again, missed Lou. That's twice. 
It's possible that the Baker could be injured. He can't. Oh, and that's three times the Baker has missed the move. That's the second time she's missed the corner move. The Baker is not feeling so good. There's a lumbar check. Lou is down. The Baker is showing, hey, you know what? I'm fine. Fine. She says she's fine. I got a text. Oh, great. Our next door neighbor said she just found three uh, 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 Japanese beetles on her plants. <sighs> you guys have an A and uh, W? You guys don't have them? I thought they were U.S., Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I didn't think that they were like a Canadian thing. The Baker finally tags in Maddie Hunter, although I don't think she actually tagged her. Oh my god, Baker with a big boot to the face. Maddie Hunter is fresh. She's been sitting out on the sidelines for quite a while. Maddie Hunter turns her over. Nice neck breaker. Takes Lou down. Perhaps there's a bit of um, revenge here. Few and far between. Do you guys have um, Har 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 Harvey's? So I think that's a Canadian chain. But I'm not, like, certain. Woo! Nice leg drop. And she's going to go again off the ropes. And another leg drop. Kicking Maddie Hunter's head around, too. Maddie Hunter with a big uppercut. Kick to the midsection. Into the pedigree. Down she goes. You have a few of them in New England. Okay, cool. Maddie Hunter. No, Lou will kick out. The Baker delivers a, a rib buster to Velvet Dove. And now she's got her again. And... Oh, Velvet Dove reverses it into Hurricane Rana. A e. Harvey's, like H-A-R-V-E-Y-S. Like Harvey Whippleman. Maddie Hunter reverses. And delivers a reverse DDT. Down goes Lou. Where is the Baker? Oh, Arby's. No, no, no. Arby's is... No. No. Maddie Hunter looking for the submission on Lou with another disarmor of her own. Everyone is just trying to rip the arms off of every... Like, everyone has a submission move in this match. Which gets me thinking. <laughs> I'm so hungry, I could eat at Arby's. Yeah, no. No Arby's. Maddie Hunter, Irish whip into the corner. He's never actually eaten there. I've eaten there once. Uh, twice. First time, it was okay. Um, no, it's more like um, sandwiches? Like meat, like meat sandwiches? Like hot meat sandwiches? <laughs> I uh, gotta watch what I say because the kids are watching this one too. But they are not looking at chat, so you guys are free to do whatever you want. Mighty Hunter's got Velvet Dove. Velvet Dove may be uh, wearing herself out for her match with JR later tonight. 
Oh, now they're just going to stare at each other. Sort of like one, but it's not quite like a Subway or anything like that. It's usually warm, hot meat, not cold cuts. At least that's what I always got from there. Oh, Velvet Dove. Kick to the midsection, got blocked. Maddie Hunter takes her down, working on the knee. Oh, puts in the figure four leg lock. There are Hardies around in the U. Oh, okay. I didn't know that was a thing, too. Nova Dove able to break the figure four. A couple of shots to the face. Now Maddie Hunter kicked to the midsection. Oh, turned around, was looking at Jeffy. Said, said something to Jeffy, and Velvet Dove caught her. I don't know what Jeffy said. I don't know why she got mad at Jeffy. But Maddie Hunter just turned right around and stared Jeffy down. Like, gave her, gave him, like, the evil eye. It was crazy. There's a shot right, there's an elbow right to the face. And, oh, no, nice reversal by Lou with a DDT. Maddie Hunter is stunned, not sure which way is up. Now she's down. Lou in with the submission. Jeffy, all that we see is Jeffy's rear end with the butt facing us. And Maddie Hunter breaks out of it. Lou gets a kick right to the face. Good biscuit. Good biscuits and gravy. Their biscuit sandwiches for breakfast are pretty good. There are a lot of reverses. There's the pedigree. In for the cover. Velvet Dove coming in to break it up. But the Baker, no. The Baker would... Didn't really get a chance to stop her, but does now. Uh, Lou did kick out. The Baker hangs Velvet Dove off the top rope. Lou takes down Maddie Hunter. Turns her over into a half Boston Crab. Boston. Looking for the submission on Maddie Hunter now. Jeffy is... Why is he looking over there, dude? Look at her face, dude. Dragon Screw takes Maddie Hunter down. Lou now going to go to work on the legs of Maddie Hunter. Oh, God, that, that hurts just watching it. Maddie Hunter kicks out of it. Maddie Hunter will tag in the Baker. The Baker has got Lou. Lou responds with a jawbreaker. Works on the arm of the Baker. Forces her down. The Baker, a couple shots to the midsection to break the hold and does. The Baker gets her up and Lumbar checked to Lou. Rest in peace, Lou's spine. The Baker going in for the cover. Velvet Dove I don't think is around. One, two, and three. The Sugar and Spice are your winners. The Baker pinning Lou. Measure of revenge for sugar and spice. Oh, uh, we turned off rope breaks so that if there was going to be a rope break, it's got to be the, the AI has got to actually do it, not just be in close to it. Uh, I posted all the new rules in the About channel. Here are your winners. Sugar and spice are your winners. <laughs> well, I didn't really want to sleep in the ship tonight, so. There we go. Next match. Angry Alice Wright against the Savage She-Hulk. Uh, what's this email? Yeah, Midsummer Deals. Yeah, I, I looked at the stuff Warcraft had for sale, and eh. I mean, I have everything. The, the, the only thing I didn't have that's for sale is some... Uh, are, the, are the toys? Like the 
toy to shoot the the f firework for your fa for your faction. And I thought that was the one that they put up so that the proceeds would be used for the uh, WoW tournament prizes, right? But then they didn't do that. Making eh. Way to the ring it's like a whole whopping six, 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 fifth, six, 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 fifty or something. Women, eh. Alice Wright. Angry Alice Wright. By Elby. Actually, I got a good points. Points, uh, carry bakes, uh, 250. 250. Now let's write one half of the tag team champions, the hit squad. Which we will see them later tonight in a non title match against Baby Ranks and Zinda. And her opponent from Los Angeles, California, Shake Hall. So I'm lurking in on a couple streams. And I noticed somebody's got like 263 viewers. For wrestling. Like, wow. Like, holy crap. It's amazing. Yeah, I know. All right, here we go. The battle of who has got the stronger punch. CW got lots of views in the day. Really? I'm going to open it and just check out what's going on in there. He's just doing a regular match, man. What's going on? But good for him. Like, I'm curious, like, how how did he get to that point, right? Because I knew, because whenever I would watch this person stream, uh, they'd have 50 people or so, and it's like, it's, it's almost times five. It's crazy. Like, he's a good streamer. And a good wrestling streamer. Um, just curious how, like, did he advertise more? Did somebody happen to throw him a couple of raids? Maybe may, may, may it's a couple large raids for, like, hey. Anyways, I was right working on She Hulk's leg because, you know, if you can't stand, you can't win a match, really. She-Hulk, Dragon, Angry, Alice, right? And there it is. Big punch right to the side of the face. Angry Alice, right? Don't know what hit her. Maybe she does. She knows where she is. And there it is. Another shot. They, they are trading blows. Punch for punch. Alice, right? Oh, oh She-Hulk swats it aside. Gets her up. Oh no, skyscraper power bomb. Oh god. Alice Wright's still alive, apparently. Pick She Hulk up and slugs her. Down goes She Hulk. 
Alice Wright measuring She-Hulk up. We're going to see another punch right to the face. And oh, She-Hulk swats it away again. Gets Alice Wright by the throat and chokes slam. Oh, my God. Goes in for the cover. Jeffy, we got one. No, only a one count. These two going back and forth. Blow for blow. It's a jawbreaker by Wright into an arm drag by She-Hulk. She-Hulk picks her up. Oh, reverse Samoan drop right on her face. Maybe She-Hulk a spine buster. Maybe She-Hulk is trying to wipe the angry off of her face. And down goes She-Hulk. Surprise punch right to the chops. Two. No, She-Hulk gets the arm up. My God. Dio Mio. Only one of them can be angry? Well, that's right. She's always angry. She, she Hulk is just savage. Alice Wright ready, and there it is. Finally connects two and three. Alice Wright wins the battle of the punch. She is your winner. Alice Wright smash indeed. Here we go. The next match is a match. It's a rematch from last week. Right. It's a rematch from last week. Um, the Bolsheviks won it by a countout. I think. I think. I think they just won it by a countout. Or no, it was a draw. I think I think it was a draw, right? I think that's what it was. So we have a tag team match between the Vicious Circle and the Bolsheviks in a no countouts and no DQ match. Ten points for the two five hundred. Bam. Bam. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Okay. The vicious circle versus the Bolsheviks. Come on, there we go. There we go. So we should get a winner here, right? I don't, I don't know how we would not get a winner. I don't know how there would be a draw. There's a vicious circle. Owned by Zorts. No, Jojo, it's Casey Turner and Susie Mackinac, the vicious circle. Former tag team champs lost it and haven't been able to get a shot at it since. First, they need to get past the Bolsheviks.
if they even want a shot at getting into that number one match. Uh, is that going to be next week? No, it's going to be the week after. We have two more regular weeks and then our Extreme Rules free purview. Oh, and I didn't do betting because I'm a terrible person. And their opponent, Francine Make betting time two minutes. If anyone wants to bet, do it now. Lady Red. Why, LB, why do you keep booing what you know is the best wrestler and tag team in any federation, including Emmy Dupuy? I watched the matches and I saw you booing her. I saw you. I saw. I was reading the chat. Lady Red is quite the wrestler. Lady Red's partner frightens me. Uh, do you recognize her from anywhere? <laughs> Dodgeball. Casey Turner's got Fran. Shot right. A big uppercut. Fran and with a spiked DDT. Casey Turner goes down. Man picks her right back up. Kick to the midsection by Turner. There's an arm bar. Shot right to the face. I'm about to say she looks like the girl from Dodgeball. She is heavily inspired by that girl. Uh, the only difference really is the outfit is should be purple and black, right? Uh, so I made her more in line with kind of the black and red Russian theme. That woman scares you too. Oh boy, Casey uh, Fran with a couple elbows, Ugh, el el elbows, 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 elbow. Oh my goodness! Look at Casey Turner. Oh, ho, ho. good night to Fran's ribs. And we just call her Fran because I don't even want to try to pronounce her last name. It's Fran Stalinichkomnov. Tchaikovsky Nin. Susie Mackinac takes a boot. Here's Fran. And Mackinac from behind. Shot. Shot to the back. Kick to the midsection. Gets her up. Butterfly slam. What is. Wow. Butterfly slam. And then another one. That's two. Is she going to do three? And a flapjack. Right onto the right on her face. I don't know if that's going to improve Fran's face. Susie Mackinac, Missy Pyle, yeah, yep, yes, she does, and it's so. It's funny to see how per, how like they really change her look, right? <laughs> I feel like you, you'll you'll think she's better looking when they win the women's tag team titles. <laughs> Everyone will be like, "Oh, look at her! She's amazing," because she's a champion. Susie Mackinac hopping over. There is no count out in this match because the last time they fought, they came to a draw. Fran Stalin writes. Let, let's see if I can say that. Fran Stalin of Skovich uh, uh, Davidovichki. Yes. Fran. Just call her Fran. Oh my goodness, big clothesline by Fran, taking Susie down. Fran and Susie in the ring. Oh goodness gracious. 
Susie reverses with a DDT. And now Susie is going to execute the Baker's pretzel maneuver. Huh. Stretching Fran out. Fran with a rake to the eyes. Irish whip into the corner. Fran will... Oh, I thought Fran was about to tag in Lady Red, but all she took was a boot to the face. Good Lord. Down goes Fran. Lady Red angry. She got knocked off the edge. Susie Mackinac's got the arm cinched in and the leg looking for the submission by Fran. The Lady Red gets up not doing anything. Fran is just kind of being left out there high and dry. Fran is not able, is, is, is able to break out of it. It does not submit. Does not submit. She does not. She does not submit. <laughs> Again, Fran takes the boot to the face. Anything will be an improvement, according to Maddie B. As she dodges out of the way, Chop is blocked. Susie with the punch right to the face. Picks her up, man. Back suplex. Right on her head. Susie Mackinac gets her leg caught. Tripped down. Fran turns her over into a Boston Crab. Looking for the submission. Jeffy right there. Susie able to power out of it. Mackinac picks Fran right back up. Now kicked in the midsection. Gets her up way up. Brain buster right in the middle of the ring. Fran is not doing so good. Fran with the uppercut. They're both dancing a little, look like. Good gravy. Mackinac with the cover. One, two, and Lady Red takes them all out. Casey Turner's got Lady Red. No, Lady Red spins behind her, takes an elbow from Casey Turner. Turner clotheslines Lady Red, who rolls outside the ring. Fran was going to get a bear hug in. Mac Mackinac breaks it up. Jeffy's back to his feet. Seems like everyone's back up and going. Uh, we're not sure if Lady Red's back to her corner or not. Mackinac. Working on that leg. Oh, jeebus. On the arm. Sweet baby cheeses. Mackinac. Irish whip into the corner. Oh. I hate that neck cracking. It drives me crazy. Gives me the eebie-jeebies. Mackinac psyching herself up. Got her laid out onto the ropes. Mackinac sizing her up and running. And oh my God. Baseball slide on along the apron right into the side of the head. Goes in for the cover. Jeffy, one, two. Oh, Fran just gets the arm up. How is she even alive? That should have taken her head right off. Fran wisely tags in Lady Red. Lady Red is fresh. And not so fresh. There's another one, and now she's going to finish it off with the uh, butterfly flapjack. Russians are... No, i got to say it like a Russian. Russians are strong like boo. Mackinac tags in Turner. Turner grabs. Whoa, Lady Red flips up to her feet, delivers a back brain kick, takes Turner down. Turner responds with a knee lift. Didn't seem to face her at all. Lady Red with the arm drag. Kick to the midsection. Gets her down. Picks her up. And no, Casey Turner over the top. Sunset flip. Going in for the pin. One, and Lady Red kicks out of it. Turner, the kick to the leg and an elbow to the face. Irish whip into the corner. Finishes it off with a knee. Down goes Lady Red. Jeffy needs to get his act together. Damn right he does. He needs to DQ. Oh, well, there's no DQs. Never mind. <laughs> Jeffy's working just fine. Lady Red, the kick to the face. She is fresher. -er. 
Casey Turner with a break to the eyes and takes down Red, but Red right back up, working on the arm into a hammer lock. Big elbow to break it by Casey Turner. Takes down Red. Lady Red dives over, tags in Fran. Fran comes in. Oh my God. Kick right to the face. Turner not having any of that nonsense. Takes Fran down. Goes in for that cover. Wow, really? One. Two, Frank kicks out. Turner sizing up Fran. Fran with the kick to the midsection. And it gets her up into a bear hug. No, gets tripped down by Turner. Turner, oh, God. Working on the arm. The tag in Susie Mackinac. Mackinac, I don't know which one is which one is more mean. Mackinac in for the cover, using the ropes. One, two, no. France still kicks out. Susie's mad because she should have had that. Jeffy did not see that, and Jeffy should have seen that. So you're right. Wow, look at that. Look at the. Uh, leg just right up into Susie's face nice spine buster by Fran to take the wind out of Susie's sails Irish whip into the Bolsheviks corner oh <laughs> Fran channeling her inner Russian uh, oh no takes down Susie Mackinac and stomping away on her Lady Red tags herself in. And she will continue just nailing Susie Mackinac. Boot after boot after boot. There we go. And whips her in. Lady Red baseball slide right to the face. Mackinac gets turned over. Lady Red in for the cover. Jeffy right there. One, two. Mackinac kicks out. Double axe handle right to the back. Lady Red. Mackinac's not done yet. Throws Lady Red down. Lady Red is, is certainly not out of it. That is for sure. Picks, trying to pick up. Tries to pick her up into the bear hug. Susie Mackinac not having any of it. Lady Red trips her down. Turns her over into a half Boston Crab again. Like this is like a Russian favorite. Jeffy is right there. Looking for the submission from Susie Mackinac. And can't get it. Mackinac turns over. Kicks Lady Red off. Mackinac wisely tags in Casey Turner. Turner misses with the forearm. Lady Red saw that coming a mile away. Did not see the jawbreaker coming. Leap frogs over Casey Turner. Like, we've never seen that before. Irish whip into the corner. Casey Turner picks up Lady Red and puts her up on the top of the ropes. What is she doing? Casey Turner up on the top rope. Oh, my God. Superplex to the floor. Oh, my God. Lady Red is still fighting back though in russia the superplex floors you something like that turner throws lady red into the apron i i will remind you because zorts said i have to remind you every time that is the hardest part of the ring And it's a good thing there's no count outs because Casey Turner is has uh, taken this to the outside. They've been outside for a long time. <laughs> you feel like after a big move like that? Yeah, probably not. Probably not. Lady Red is dead. Casey Turner sneaking up behind. Knocks her down again. Fran gets down. Starts helping out against Casey Turner. Both of them are going at it. 
Casey Turner with a back suplex onto the floor. Fran misses Casey. Fran just standing there as Lady Red is just taking it. Now they're both going at it. And Susie Mackinac is not doing anything out there. Casey Turner hung up over the apron. And big boot right to the side of the face. Lady Red running in the ring. Turns over Turner. Tur tur he she turned Turner over. Turner over. Turner turned over. Here we go. Kick to the midsection. And oh no. And again, another sunset flip. Into the cover. Where is Jeffy? One, two. Lady Red kicks out. Shot to the face. Casey Turner turns. Lady Red around. Irish whip into the corner. Follows it up with a knee right to the midsection. Allie, you. Down she goes. Lady Red kicks out. Lady Red yapping away. She judges Casey Turner. To be going down. <laughs> Jeffy needs a sabbatical. Yeah, maybe. And big power bomb. Oh my god. I think I saw Casey Turner's head bounce off the mat. One, two. Susie Mackinac breaks it up. Lady Red now. Irish whip into the Bolsheviks corner. <laughs> Flexing for everyone to see. This is what a true champion looks like. She is a former world champion after all. Knee right to the side of the face. Lady Red is doling out the punishment now. Picks her up and spine buster. Down goes Turner. Turner will kick at her at Lady Red's knees. And uh, Lady Red will deliver one of her own. Red continue to work on that knee. Tags in Fran. Fran now. Kick to the midsection. Turner with an elbow gets to her feet. Takes down Fran. That might be Casey Turner's turn to dole it out again. Fran blocks the forearm. Irish whip into the corner. Tags Lady Red back in. Opens her up. Oh, shot right to the ribs. Lady Red turns her up and into a power bomb. Jeffy, one, two, and three. There it is. The Bolsheviks are your winners. Lady Red pins Casey Turner. Poor Zorts. Poor Zorts. All hail the Bolsheviks. There they are. They are your winners, the Bolsheviks. Triple Threat Match, Roselet versus The Baker versus Lita. Was there ever a doubt? Nope, I had no doubt. None. None. I had no doubts at all. The Baker, Roselet, and Lita. Keeping it in the family, I guess, here. Someone will be sleeping on the couch, and it won't be me.
is Roselet, owned by Sun Two. Making her way to the ring from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, the Continental Champion, Rose. She is actually the Canadian Champion. She will be defending that belt against whoever wins the gauntlet or whoever holds the gauntlet in three weeks' time. July 20th, there will be an Extreme Rules match. So anything will go. Last playing, no game. <laughs> we saw them beat the Birds of Prey. Sugar and Spice, uh, that's their first win in a long time. But now the Baker is competing one on one. She is a three time Twitch champion. And the final competitor. Whoops. Lita owned by Lita. Playing World of, World of Warcraft. Go figure. I will tell you, most of my World of Warcraft playing lately has been trying to farm the Rust Feather mount. Have all my tunes parked over there and I just jump through them and wait for a spawn it's supposed to be a 1 in 200 chance but uh, and you get to kill it every day so at least it's not uh, once a week or anything well the baker takes Roselet out Lita replies with an arm bar Carrie Bakes rolling out of it and arm drag and an uppercut by the baker Takes Lita out and gets Roselet. Roselet will flip over the back. I don't know what was going on there. Couple elbows to the midsection. The Baker picks up Roselet. It's mom versus son too. Stretching out the champions. Back. Lita running in. Uh, I don't know what that was. They both they're both jumping at each other. Not connecting. Finally, the Baker connects with a fist and uh, gets her leg caught. Baker blocks the shot. Gets Lita up. And no, Lita gets down over the top. And Roselet moves in. Now it's just a melee. Baker rings Lita's bell. Picks the Baker up and hangs her off the top rope Ro as Rosa just watches. Rosa's got Lita front face buster. Or was that like a page turner? I don't know what that was. Go Irish whip into the corner. Roselet, though, takes an elbow and takes Baker down. Knee to the midsection and leg drop right to the back of the head, driving the Baker's face down into the logo Lita kicked to the midsection gets hung up on the top rope the Canadian champions got the Baker oh the Baker with oh a big clothesline sends the champion down to the mat the Baker leaps to the top ropes 
pointing at Roslet. Jumps down and misses the double axe handle. Roslet got out of the way. Lita <laughs> Baker trying to drop kick people, and that's not working. Now all three of them are on the outside. Lita dodges another drop kick in, but can't dodge a fist to the face. Roslet from behind, delivering the knee, taking the Baker out. Lita throws Roselet into the ring. Throws it with a kick to the midsection. Misses with a double accent, a double fist, and takes the clothesline. Lita taking it to the champ. <laughs> now they're both, and now the Baker is like, listen, I got her. Gets her up into the shoulder breaker. And now Lita and the Baker are going at it. Front face lock. DDT to the Baker. Lita going in for the cover. One, two. Baker kicks out. Roselet gets Lita from behind. Kick and shot. Couple chops. And a bulldog. Lita will roll out. Roselet goes in for the cover on the on the knocked out Baker. Baker is still only with a one count this time. Now the Roselet was trying to steal a, a pin. Baker hung up on the second rope. Shot to the midsection. Roselet now on the outside of the ropes and oh, kicked her right in the face. Going for a field goal. Goes in for the cover. One and Lita breaks it up. Lita takes a shot from Roselet. Roselet got her up on the top ropes. What is. Oh no. Roselet. Again with the superplex down to the floor. What is it with the superplexes today? Holy moly. Lita. In, in go, into the ring goes Roselet. The Baker, well, now they're not sure where they're going. There we go. Roselet now in the ring. Gets the Baker up and drops her with the electric chair. The Roselet, the Canadian champion, is just taking it to everyone. Rolls it, going in for the cover. Lita gets up just in time, but Baker kicked out. Lita was a little worried there that Rosette was going to get the win. Baker with the pump. No, with the pump. And Lita over the top, though, catches a shot right into the chops. Lita takes the Baker down. And now Roselet and Lita are going at it. Kick to the midsection. Leg drop. Driving the face down into the mat. Roselet. <laughs> Roselet celebrating a little too early. Now goes in for the cover. One, two. Lita kicks out. You know, if she had gone in there without, uh, you know, right away, she probably would have won this match. Roselet sizing up Lita. Takes her down night night. But the Baker is into the ring and will try to break it up too and finally does. She missed the first time again. The Baker is, uh, she might have a concussion. The Baker gets Roselet into the chef special. Right off the bat. Right out of nowhere, I mean. Looking for the submission from the Canadian champion. This is not a title match, but oh my goodness. The Baker gives it up, man. It just took too long. And now the Baker, we're going for the cover. That is a finishing move. One, two, no. Roselet kicks out. Fireman carry takedown. Roselet has got the Baker into front face lock. Gets her up. Nope. Baker takes her down. Working on the knee into an ankle lock. Looking for a submission as Lita just looks on. Lita kind of made a half first attempt there to break it up. Didn't really do much of it. Roseland in with the power bomb cover. Baker doesn't see it. No, only a two count. Roseland turns it over to a back into a Boston crab and gets a submission as the Baker turned around too late.
Wow. The Baker was off on the turnbuckle. Flexing and strutting. Turned around and saw Lita tap. Here is your winner, Rose. Roselet is your winner. Okay, next match is Canadian Gauntlet match. Uh, last one before intermission. Um, uh, I did type in the Discord that uh, if the Gauntlet holder loses, they'll get put into the qualifying match next week. So it could be more than one per month. That's the only way that that rule, the not showing up once a month, the, the showing up once a month rule will be broken. As if the Gauntlet holder lost it and then they'd be going back in because uh, i don't uh i don't really like giving a rematch right away uh so they got to earn it so similar to the twitch battle to the twitch title if they lose it they get put into the battle royal so they have a shot at getting a rematch so we're gonna do the same thing so lita will be in the next qualifying match because we didn't give her that option when we changed the rule to just now not just now, but earlier on in the in the day. Um, so she'll be in it, and if Zorana loses, Zorana will also be in there too. Making her way to the ring, accompanied by the villain. From London, England. Huh. Well, apparently I subbed to somebody. I don't know who that was to. There is Zorana, former world champion, knocked off Lita. Last week, she now holds the Canadian gauntlet, which is, which is like a real gauntlet. It's like a glove. And yet, you still have to go through the gauntlet. Here is her opponent. And her opponent, accompanied by Gordon Thomas. And from New York, the lunatic. Diana Dre. Here comes Lou. Lou won the qualifying match on Sunday morning. Get a shot to take the gauntlet away from Zorana. We should call it the Bowl of Putin. The person holding the Bowl of, po of, of Putin. By the time the next free preview is there, we'll throw the bowl of Putin into the champion's face. And then they fight. <laughs> Putin. Here we go. Zorana versus Lou. Lou with a front smash and already into a submission. Maybe not. Maybe they'll just look working on the arm a little bit. Zorana with the elbow. Into the ropes, and Zorana misses with the drop kick. Now they're both locked up. Lose for Zorana into the corner. They're off into the ropes a bit. Jeffy in between them. Look, and no, Zorana slaps Lou right across the face. Oh my god, Lou! Just drop kick Jeffy. What the heck? Jeffy has been nailed four times. Like, like clearly they were going to go take him out. Jeffy just getting in the way too many times. 
Dude dodges away. Takes Zorana down. The flying forearm a la Tito Santana. Gets her in a front face lock. Picks up her leg. Takes her down. Turns her over. Working on that knee. Now Lou quickly to the top ropes. And delivers the elbow right in the back. Serena fighting back with a knee lift. The knee lift. Serena in with a small package. One, two, no. And Lou turns it over, only gets a two. And Serena turns it back. How is that not a rope break? Uh, your match will be. This is the last match before our intermission. And yours is the first one after our intermission. So your match is next. Just it'll be a little bit. It'll be about. I don't know. Depends on how long this goes, and then another five more minutes or so, maybe ten. Because I. Because uh, we're going to draw who fights Venom. And I got to set up the last five matches. So your your yours is next. But we have a little bit of a break though. Oh my god, off the top rope, double stomp right to the feet, right to the chest, right to the feet. Zorana drops the leg, goes in for the cover now. One two, no. Not even a two. I was gonna count two. Luke kicked out at one. Zorana picks up Lou. Another swip into the corner. Misses with the knee. Lou got the heck out of the way. And now Lou with the Irish whip. Follows up and Zorana gets out of the way. Back heel kick. A spinning heel kick. Right to Zorana's side of the head. Lou. Pump action. Throw away slam. Zartan up on the apron. Distracting Lou. They are having words. She's like right up in his face. Serana struggling to her feet. Can't take advantage of that. Lou turns back. Kick to the midsection. Lou working on Zorana's arm. Zorana breaks it with a punch to the face. And a mule kick. Zorana off the ropes and leg drop right to the back of Lou's head. Turns her over. Looking right. Nap time right there. Gets up on the apron. Jeffy's like, hey. And breaks up the pin. That's why you need a manager. Lou off the ropes and gets caught. No, Lou reverses it. They'll lock up in the middle of the ring. Zorana shoves her off, takes her down the clothesline. Lou responds with a flying forearm and now will follow Zorana outside. Out of two. What in the heck? Lou with the Lou Buster. I, I I have no idea. Just looking down on Zorana's inner body. Zorana finally getting to her feet. Zorana delivers an elbow. Picks her up. Oh, big backbreaker. Lou looks like she's in a whole lot of pain right there. Lou with the arm drag misses with a chop. She's like right there, dude. <laughs> Lou's got Serena. Delivers an elbow. Another elbow. Yeah, I believe the reversals are set to 100. So there will be definitely more reversals. And now Zartan back up on the apron. And Jeffy yapping away at him. Tell him to get his arse down onto the floor. Lou gets Lou gets Zorana locked into the disarmor. Looking for the submission. Will Lou get it? No. Zorana pushes Lou off. Lou with the DDT. Down she goes. Zorana's been taking a whole lot of punishment. 
She may be in control right now, but I think Zorana's close. There's a knee lift by Lou. Picks Zorana back up. Takes her down with a clothesline. Another clothesline. And spinning heel kick. Down goes Zorana. Lou is feeling it. Lou gets Zorana up. Another throwaway slam. Zartan, like right there. What is Zartan doing? We got one, two. Zorana kicks out. Zartan threw in a chair. And now, once again, Lou and, Z and Zartan are having words. Zorana to her feet. Does take advantage of it this time. Picks her up. Drops her into a back suplex. Zorana picks Lou up again. Lou gets out of it. Nails her with a reverse DDT. I believe uh, Zorana actually defeated Lou way back in the day to win the world championship. Way back. So these two have fought before. Off the top rope. Flying, in, flying Hurricane Rana. I guess onto the chair too. It looked like she caught a piece of that chair. Jeffy would get rid of the chair. Spinning mule kick off the ropes and leg drop. Down it goes. Zorana for the win. Jeffy Jeebus, man. One, two. Lou kicks out. Zorana not liking that. Now Zorana is going to go to the top. She climbs way up there. Taunting Lou to her feet. Oh, no! It was going to be a cross body, and Lou caught her. Drives her down with a body slam. Lou, drop kick right to the back. Serena responds with an arm drag. Shot to the midsection. And now Lou and Serena are going toe-to-toe, -to -toe, trading blows. Serena's got Lou up. Power bomb into a cover. One, two, and three. Zorana retains the gauntlet. Zorana. Really? I mean, Zorana did beat Lou before to win the title. Back on, like, what, December, I'm going to say December 30th? Last year? Here is your winner, Pong! All right. Uh, this is the time where we do the boss battle stuff. The boss tickets. Uh, we've got five matches left. One, two, three, four, five. Yes. I have a match, is it? Do, do, do. Uh, okay. Me, 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 me. Uh, this one. Five. Okay. Uh, next show. All right, we have Crazy Katie Shoyer versus Lady Red. Non-title match. Uh, baby ranks to gets the start. Oops. And we get Wolfpack in there as the manager versus the Hit Squad. Alice Wright gets the start. Uh, 
uh, non-title. Uh, I did get her. I did get a jacket. I got a. I got a leather jacket and changed it to red. All right. Um, and here we go. Boss. Boss fight. So the winner, or so whoever. So uh, now th this is where we go. Where you guys pick. Um, move this over. Oop. Oh, God. I always do that. Okay. I should make uh, the. Yeah. There we go. This has got to go here. It's got to go like that. And it's got to go like that. Like that. All right. There we go. Okay. Uh, okay. So, uh, you guys go, if you guys want to get your tickets, this is the last chance. Uh, when I draw it, uh, you'll have a minute to say something in the chat and then pick somebody from the women's roster. It can be anybody that's on the current roster except for, did anybody beat Venom? Let me see. July 14th. It can be anybody except Jessica Kane and Velvet Dove because she is the current champion. So if you beat Venom, uh, you get put into the number one match where if you win that, then you will face the world champion at the pay-per-view or the free preview the next week. And you don't have to be... So it's going to be open to the number one, two, three, and four wrestlers. Um, if you can get in that, then it will be five wrestlers, six, seven, eight, blah, blah, blah. Uh, but, um, if you win it, if you win and you are already in the top four, well, then you won't get an extra wrestler in there. Uh, but it will at least guarantee that you will be in that match. So I will be right back, uh, probably about five minutes or so. All right. Meet Mop Mop.
Okay, we back. Let's do. Uh... Oh, Maddie, I just saw you, you thought it would be funny. They'd be called the mass holes. <laughs> Sarah the Necromancer and Captain Marvel. If you guys want to, like, you guys both own them, so it's up to you. I'm, I'm good with that. Um, okay, so I'll do the draw at 201. And, uh, and then I'll put the minute timer on. Where is the thing? There it is. So, who fights a Venom, eh? Tick a talk, 10 seconds left. Me, murmur. Me, murmur, murmur. And there we go. Close. And we'll draw a winner. L by. L by. L by. L by. Oh, LB changed his uh, Twitch icon. He's got like a. He's like got like a rocket ship going on there. It looks like maybe. I thought shouldn't shouldn't it be a frog? What's up with that, dude? So you can pick anybody from the women's roster except for Jessica Kane and Velvet Dove. Yeah, why is it why is it like that? It should be. Is that is that why you're like I? Uh? Okay, so you're here. Mark it as complete. And we'll loop that away. Weird. Me mo mo, me mo mo, me mo mo, meet mo. Uh, sure, sure. Carrie is chopping potatoes. Ma ma potatoes. Alex Samuels. Kidoki. Let me update this. Uh, this match. Alex Samuels. Alex Sam. All right, then we'll have the Twitch uh, championship match. Ooh. Uh, between Captain Marvel and Madison Windraker. And then we'll finish off with the match. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. The Hit Squad versus the Bolsheviks. The game knows. The game knows that they should be the champs. All right. So we've got the World Championship on the line. LB Fraga spent 50,000 points to make it a title match. Uh, we've got JR. And Velvet Dove is the champion. Uh, she does not have a manager. There we go. All right. Title is on the line. We're going to start off with Crazy Katie Scheuer versus Lady Red. Betting short versus baby red. Off we go. Do -do 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 -do.
Bow, bow, bow. Okay. Katie Scheuer. Owned by, sorry, Crazy Katie Scheuer, owned by Katie Scheuer. Sporting a new leather jacket. Don't know if that's the right one, but. All that I got was a short, a short jacket with the zippers and make it red. Not the one you want. You let me know which one you want. Or at least uh, point to it at somebody else's stream so I can have a look at it. There she is. Crazy Kitty Shore. You do love it? Okay, cool. The blood the, the, the bloodshot eyes, man. The bloodshot eyes are what do it for me. Ooh. Perhaps Crazy Katie Scheuer is a vampire. Here we hear the Russian anthem once again. And her opponents from St. Petersburg, Russia, the Queen Redhead. Lady Red, former world champion. has got her sights, her and her partner's sights, set on the Tag Team Championships. People hate them because they fear them. They fear the sheer awesomeness and power that Lady Red possesses. Crazy Katie Scheuer and Lady Red one on one. Ring the bell. Here we go. Jeffy, make sure you get out of the way. There's a lot of red going on in that ring. Perhaps Lady Red has brushed off a little bit on Crazy Katie Scheuer. Lady Red misses with the tackle. Mule kick by Scheuer. And Lady Red catches her into a spinning slam. Katie kicks out at one. Kick. Bleh. Wow, words. Well, let's go take another drink. Big clothesline by Lady Red. Gets Scheuer up. Gonna start. Oh, she was gonna start with the backbreaker. You can see the size of Katie Scheuer is much smaller. Sister Abigail by Scheuer goes in for the cover. What? One, two. Lady Red kicks out. Oh, my God. That would have been a quick one. Scheuer waiting for Red to get to her feet. Red doesn't know what hit her. Like, you can see Red it just reflexes, takes Scheuer down. Scheuer rams her head into the turnbuckle. Down goes Red into the middle of the ring. 
Shoyer turns her over. Goes in for the cover again. One, only a one count this time. Lady Red up to her feet. Shoyer into the ropes. And wow, what the heck? Like spinning power slam? Good Lord. One, only a one count. Lady Red kicks out of that. Lady Red is not easily beaten. Lady Red with a shot to the midsection. Shoyer catches the boot, trips Lady Red down, turns her over to a half Boston Crab, looking for a submission from the mighty Russian. Lady Red turns over, kicks Shoyer off. There's a kick to the back. Lady Red gets arm dragged over. Shoyer's got her by her night. His, his, she's she's messing up her hair. Poor Lady Red's hair. It's being all messed up. Shoyer over the ropes and down to the floor. Lady Red is going to follow. Oh, no. What is Lady Red going to do here? Misses with a punch. Katie Shoyer, the Hurricane Rana. Lady Red almost nailed the uh, the commentator's desk now she does Shoyer rams her into the desk Lady Red counters with a leg and Shoyer oh man spinning heel kick takes Lady Red down Shoyer gets back in the ring we're at a five count Red climbing up and uh, surprises Shoyer Irish whip into the corner. Big elbow in response. Shoyer couldn't get her up. Lady Red is just too big. Reverse DDT. Down goes Shoyer. Lady Red's definitely got more weight than Shoyer. And oh no. Big sitting power bomb. Shoyer is in trouble. Lady Red going in for the cover. One. Two. Shoyer gets the arm up. Lady Red's got some more work to do. She's going to pin Shoyer. Shoyer with the arm drag. Gets Lady Red by the hair again. Watch the hair. Throws her over the ropes, but she's still on the apron. Shoyer gets out with her. And... Oh, man! DDT on the apron! The hardest part of the ring, says Zortz. I, I counter that it's the posts that are the hardest part of the ring. Shoyer stalking Lady Red. Red knew it was coming. Kick and oh no. Level Shoyer the big boot. Shoyer elite frogs. Lady Red. Lady Red's not having any of that. Irish whip into the corner. Lady Red follows it up with a big clothesline. Down goes Shoyer. Lady Red going in for the cover. One, two. Shoyer just gets the shoulder up. Lady Red sizing her up. Not sure what else to do with her. Takes down Shoyer. Surprising spear. And she's not done with her. I think that was a mistake. Shoyer coming alive with an uppercut. Gets her leg caught. And now, oh no. Oh no. Lady Red's got Shoyer up again. And big sit down power bomb. That might be it for Shoyer. Lady Red climbs over. Gets the arm over. Going in for the cover. One, two, and three. Lady Red defeats. Crazy Katie Scheuer. She just crawled over there, got the win, and just put her arm over top of her to get the win, to get, to get the cover. Lady Red showing Russia is strong. <laughs> that Here is, is your winner. winner. The Queen Lady Red. Putin's favorite superstar, legend, if you will.
Much to everybody's chagrin. Putin would never rig a match. Putin does not need to rig matches. Here we go. A non-title matchup. Baby Ranks and Zinda take on the tag team champions. The Hit Squad. Jeffy is taking Russian bribes. Like I said earlier, it's a thing. No, the Russians don't need to bribe, man. The Russians are great. They are, they are strong. They are strong. Especially in figure skating. Listen, okay, figure skating is just crazy. All right, Russia would never do anything to win in figure skating. Like, like, like they like they would never cheat. There is no way. No way. All right, here we go. Tag team match or fourth final match. Wolfpack, if you're listening, I know you told me to go ask Baby Rankster, but I don't generally talk with her a ton. Um, so it's easier to get in touch with you. So if there's a name that kind of jumps out at you, like, let me know. Like, I will send her a message, but um, we'll see. Actually, let me see if she's hiding in Judy's chat right now. Yep. No, ma'am. She is Baby Ranksta, the owner of the Lethalist Booty Wrestling. her partner Wolf her Zinda is about to say Wolfpack where is Baby Rinksa here she is Zinda, former world champion herself. Former two-time Twitch champion. Zinda's got titles. by Wolfpack from the year 6991. Come back from the future to tell us how things turn out, both good and bad. Here are the tag team champions. Hey, JoJo got it right. Wow, JoJo hasn't been drinking. That's amazing, JoJo. She actually got it right. They are the tag team champions. But this is not a title match. They are also the holders of the women's money in the bank briefcases. So they're kind of secured for the next two weeks or so or three or three weeks
Baby Rankster will get the start against Angry Alice Wright. Here we go. Jeffy rings the bell, calls for the bell, and the bell is rung. That's what I meant to say. Words are hard. Alice Wright takes Rankster down. Picks her up, and ranks her over the top. Shot to the back. It's like, no, you ain't body, body, body slamming me yet. And it looked like uh, Rankster was going to Hurricane Rana. Alice Wright, but Alice Wright just dropped her on her face. Oh, no, right to the side of the head. Alice Wright and her lethal punches again. Alice Wright did defeat She-Hulk. Now she's here again. Uh, she turns her over into a pin. One. Only one count. Kind of surprised me. I think she was hoping it was going to surprise Baby Rankson, too. Rankson with a jawbreaker. Into the corner. Rankson tags in Zinda. They both throw her into the turnbuckle. Down goes right. Zinda, whoa, big military press. No, Alice Wright gets down off of it, delivers a DDT. Zinda is stunned. Big punch right to the face again. Alice Wright with her. Here we go. She cocks and lows and, oh, man, nails Zinda. But Zinda does not go down. Right. Ali uh, slingshot right into Mad Madison Windraker. Holy crud. Windraker over the ropes with an elbow. Zinda rake to the eyes. Gets Windraker up, man. Zinda slam. Goes in for the cover. One, two. Windraker kicks out. It's a kick to the back. Zinda now. Oh, no. Zinda just eats a clothesline. Down she goes. Cartwheeling down to the floor. Windraker rolls out. Going to reset the count at one again. Oh, we've got a two count now. Woo. Windraker throws her in the ring. Wolf follows. Zinda grabs her, picks her up, and throwaway slam. It's like a suplex slam, kind of. Drags her uh, to the ropes. Or no, we'll tag in baby Rankston. Rankston now. Taking it to Windraker. Drops the leg right across the face. Rankster picks up. Oh, no. Windraker delivers and it's a Russian uppercut, European uppercut. Gets her up, hangs her off the top rope. <laughs> Windraker feeling good. A la Macho Man. Ooh, yeah. Rankster kicks out of it, surprising Windraker. Surprising us all. Windraker into the corner, and uh, Windraker... Swats away the drop kick. It's a kick right to the midsection. Now again, Windraker into the corner and dodges away from Ranks' drop kick. Yeah! Macho man. God, I love him so much. Again, Windraker in the corner gets turned around. Rankstuff throws her down. Oh, no. Here we go. Split leg springboard. Moonsault off that top rope. Flips over. Puts her into the sunset flip. No. Turns her over into a submission. Looking for a submission from Madison Windraker. Can't she get it? That would be early on. That would be an upset for sure. Windraker knees her way out of the hold. Windraker does have a match against Captain Marvel. Ranksa with a spinning swanton. Sen senton, eh, whatever. And again with a drop kick, can't connect it. She is not. She's not been doing so good with the drop kicks. You think she should change up her moves that she's gonna use? Cause uh, looks like Windraker has got her well scouted out on the drop kicks. Zinda now the legal person in the ring. Zinda gets Windraker up. 
Windraker with the fireman carry takedown. Gets Zinda by the hair. Brings her over to the ropes. Throws her over the ropes and down to the floor. She just chucked her over like a pile of garbage. Windraker tags in angry Alice Wright. Alice Wright just going to watch on. Uh, we're at a two count. Now the count will get reset. And looks like Wolfpack was coming over. To that. What's he going to do? Wolfpack was, looked like he was going to get involved here. <laughs> Zinda looking, tried to do a small package. I don't think she knows where she is. There is no pins or submissions on the outside of the ring. Zinda might be in La La Land. Zinda picks up right. Drops her on the steel step. We're at a six count. Cinda picks up right, throws her back in the ring, and will follow at seven. Alice Wright blocks a shot, delivers a left, gets a kick to the midsection. Zinda tried to pick her up. Alice Wright with a backstabber goes in for the cover. One, only a one count this time. Madison Windrigan was already out. And no, Alice Wright sees baby Rangsta. He's going to pick a fight with her. Rangsta's like, no, shove off. Shove off. And it looks like Wolfpack threw in a chair. Oh, Alice Wright missed with the Superman punch. And they're both dodging. My God. Zinda now just going to stare into angry Alice's eyes. Just wondering, how can Alice Wright be so angry? Why is she so angry? Alice Wright, big uppercut. Down goes Zinda. Jeffy's got the chair, throws it out. Floors her. Jeffy counts it. One, two, and baby ranks and nails Jeffy, breaking up the pin attempt. Again, Jeffy gets nailed. Jeffy don't know what hit him, man. Alice Wright, cocked and loaded. Oh, it gets blocked again. Zinda. Alice Wright has been getting was getting blocked several times by She-Hulk in the in their previous one-on-one -on -one match. Zinda throws Alice Wright outside. And oh no, Zinda to the top ropes. Waiting for Wright to get to her feet. Zinda misses. Alice Wright saw her just in time and dodged out of the way. Alice Wright gets her head ran right into the apron, the hardest part of the ring. As Zorts would have me remind you, and I'm going to say that every single time. Zinda now with her face rammed into the steel steps. Alice right again gets Zinda up. No, Zinda floats over the top and DDT. Yes, you will. Yes, I will, LB. We're at a six count. Now Alice right into the steps. Seven count. We are. Are we gonna get to a, a double count out? It's possible. Nope. Angry Alice right runs in the ring, followed by Zinda. We we're gonna go to the eight. Zinda catches right into the slam. Right in the middle of the ring. She's going to go in for the cover. Jeffy right there. One. Oh, no. What? My Lord. Baby Rangsta gets Jeffy, bulldogs him, and breaks up her own teammate's pin attempt. What is going on there? Jeffy again. He hasn't moved. Je <laughs> Jeffy might be dead. There he goes. <laughs> Man, poor Jeffy. Baby Rankson now tagged in. Alice Ray kicks out of it, gets up to her feet. My lord, Jeffy. Alice right with a big splash. Shall we say a frog splash? Huh? Huh? Yeah.
Right, just getting to her feet. And there's the lethal duty. Going in for the cover. One. And Zinda. What is going on? Zinda went to nail Jeffy. What is going on? Everyone's got eyes for him right now. Everyone's like, all right, Jeffy, time to die. Hey, Allie, how are you doing? How are you on a computer right now? Although, when you take possession of a house, I would never pack my computer stuff into a moving box. It would always be in the car. Oh, you don't move until Friday. Okay. Okay. But at least you own the house now, right? Yay. Hey. Maddie doesn't like picking on Jeffy. <laughs> Big clothesline. You had your first beer in it today. I met a couple neighbors. Nice. Are they nice neighbors, I hope? At least at first, first meeting. Right? Like at first impressions. Were they good? Oh no, Baby Ranksa had words for Windraker. Wind, wind, bleh, Windraker slugged her. Good first impressions. That's that's good. <laughs> I don't want to jinx anything, but uh, oh, what is going on? Ranksa and Windraker having words as Alice Wright is recovering in the corner, and now Alice Wright comes out of that, slugs Ranksa down to the mat. She just walked right up to her and slugged her right in the side of the face. Angry Alice Wright is indeed angry. Rankster gets Alice Wright into the uh, bow and arrow. Looking for a submission from the tag team champions. Can they get the win? Alice Wright, will she submit? I think Alice Wright has a lot to prove as Madison Windraker is the more uh, de decorated of the two. Ranksta, no, Alice Wright has got Ranksta into a submission. Ranks is going sl <laughs> to slug Alice Wright right in the chops. <laughs> Again, Rankster with a drop kick that does not connect. Rankster needs to find a different drop kick move or just drop it. Rankster with the bulldog on Angry Alice. Alice crawling to the ropes. That's not going to help her. Gets her up into a wheelbarrow and front face buster. Good lord. Maybe she's trying to rub the angry off of Al. Al that's his face. It's possible. The Irish whip, or not, not an Irish whip. Well, that kick connected. Angry Alice will go tag in the Twitch champion, the Money in the Bank holder, Madison Windraker, who just kind of goes in there and gets floored. Ranks in with the cover. One. Two ranks of uh, Windraker kicks out. Man, words are hard. I'm going to take another drink. Cider. Ranksa drops the leg. Looks like she's going to go tag in Zinda. She'll only be Twitch champion a little while. This is not a title match. Or money in the bank holder. Uh... She's still going to be money in the bank holder. Oh, wait. Hold on. Now I get I now I now get what you mean. You know what? Word, word, words are hard for me, Maddie. Line up at the LCBO wrapped around the building? Well, yeah. Yeah. Which one? The one closest to... Uh, I guess the one closest to us. Not the not the other one up in uh, near the Fresco. I mean, tomorrow's our nation's founding day. It's our 
birth it's our birthday double kicks Zinda taking a double team effort here Zinda's got Alice right into the corner oh man Alice right gets the heck out of Dodge there just back and forth Zinda with a spike DDT oh no I gotta hold my breath. Boy. No hiccups. Hiccups go away. I am. Not really. Oh, Zinda just pummeling Alice down into the mat. We'll tag in ranks to Man, this match is going the distance. Ranks so the head scissors rams her face right down in the mat. Now we're swiping the corner and again ranks to cannot connect and there's a lethal booty. Another one going in for the cover. Jeffy right there. One, two, and th <laughs> I thought that was it. Alice Wright just kicks out of it. I think Jeffy was checking to see if she was okay. Alice Wright might be hurt. Irish whip into their corner. And oh, big avalanche. Down goes right. Zinda just needs to connect with that Zinda slam, and that's going to be it. Another Irish whip into the corner. Zinda turns her around into the turnbuckle. Alice will fight back, and Zinda connects with a shot right to the chops. And again, they're just they just love the corner right here. Zinda going to ram her head into the turnbuckle over and over and over again. Saying, why can't you be happy? Why are you always angry? Oh, Alice Wright tried to take Zinda out at the knees. Zinda's having none of that. He gave her the finger. Yeah, I've noticed that it I mean it doesn't it's not the new A it's not the new A A high. It's it's always been like that where it's like why isn't she going for attack? You know? There's Alice right with the right, right, and a left. Down goes Zinda. There we go. Windraker is now tagged back in. Speaking of tags. Doesn't look like, uh, I, I, I'll, I'll be honest. I think, uh, oh no. Windraker's got Zinda up in the dragon drop. That move has got to be outlawed. That's a neck. That will break somebody's neck. Went in for that cover. One. And Rangsta doesn't bother to break it up. She just takes Jeffy down. And then she breaks it up. Rangsta, oh, was going to do something to Windraker, and Alice Wright came in from behind, delivered a back suplex. Look at this. Jeffy is down and out. Alice Wright kicks his leg to be like, hey, wake up, man. Jeffy again. Down and out. Zinda says Windraker off the ropes. <laughs> I mean, they, I mean they, at, at what point do you call for a DQ? Right, like how, like how, like how many times you need to get hit? Zinda psyching herself up, like really? Reverse city team by Win Windraker on Zinda. Justice for Jeffy. Oh no, no, dude. Oh, no. Windraker. I think her. I think she's had a concussion herself. Windraker nails her 
I don't know. Flying tadpole maneuver. I don't know what that move is. No, she's not LB. <laughs> Zinda into the corner. Oh, Zinda gets out of the bulldog, but doesn't get out of the side leg sweep. Windraker. Gonna get Zinda again. Gonna get her up into the dragon drop. Twice now. Two dragon drops on Zinda. Turns her over. Going in for the cover. Ranks is gonna come right back in. Two. And no, Zinda still kicks out of it. Alice Wright had taken care of Rankster. But Zinda still kicked out of a second dragon drop. Oh, Alice Wright has got a piece of Zin. Zinda now. Drives her down with a spine buster. And both Zinda and Windraker are down and out. Wolfpack is running around the outside of the... I don't know what his deal is. There he goes. Windraker into the corner. Zinda gets turned into it. Delivers an elbow. Gets her leg caught. Windbreaker is like, yep. And, oh, double fist and shot right to the head. Takes Zinda down. Zinda, uh, Windraker again with that flying flippy dippy maneuver. Now rubbing Zinda's face off. You know, like Nick Cage and John, and John Travolta. Oh, no. Here we go again. A third dragon drop right in the middle of the ring. Oh, no. Ranks says just getting up. We got one. And Ranks breaks it up. Holy moly. These guys. These gals. This has got to be one of our longest matches ever. And not counting the ones that like crash that we had to redo over and over again. That was Vicious Circle and uh, and, br and Break You. Now, if this match crashed, I'm just going to say it right here. If this match crashed, I'm going to rule it as a draw, and that's it. <laughs> Although, when you sim a match, you can't sim it as a draw. So, I don't know how we'd move forward, because we would have to... Um, you would have to pick a winner. Eventually, one of these ladies... Oh, Jeffy almost got nailed again. He just got out of the way. DQ Zinda and Rangsta for beating up Jeffy so many times. Maybe. Irish whip into the corner again. Tags in Rankster. Shot to the midsection. And another lethal booty. Rankster flips over. Gets Windraker into a submission. No. <laughs> Windraker is going to near way out of it. Oh my god. These ladies just don't stop. Off the ropes. Rankster. Oh, they both collide. No one going anywhere. Ranksta though now with the arm with the arm drag misses with a kick. Windraker's got Ranksta. I am I am tired. I am tired myself. And and I have got to, and I put this match on fast. This is just insane. Oh, Alice right smack in the back of Ranks' head. And, oh, shot right to the face. Ranks to crawling around, not going to be able to get to Zinda in time. My lord. Kick to the midsection. Ranks again over the top. Got Alice right into the submission. Looking for a submission from Alice Wright. Can she get it? And there it is! Finally! Oh my god! 
Baby Rangsta gets Alice Wright to submit. And they've beaten the tag team champions. Good lord. <sighs> They've beaten the tag team champions, so that's extra points for Baby Ranks and Zinda. Here are your winners, Baby It was not a title match. All right. Holy moly. Okay. Good lord. We get our boss match. We have Venom versus Alex Samuels. Maximum best 1,000. If Alex Samuels can win, she gets into the... Number one match with uh, Jessica Kane is already in that match. She's already secured her position. Whew! That one was uh, that one was a doozy. Here we go. Ooh. Oh, I'm all done. Making her way to the ring from New York. Van no more. Van. Oh, everybody betting on Venom. I'm gonna laugh if Alfred Samuels wins. Ye of little faith. Poor Alex Samuels. Crazy Alex Samuels. Can certainly pull off, pull, pull off, pull off, put, put, pull off a victory here. If, if anyone can do it, she can. Cool. Okay, I'm just gonna say I don't usually check. Well, sorry, I don't usually check my chat to see who's in the chat, but like, not I'm not looking for for certain people. I'm more looking to see if there's bots. This is the first time I've not had a bot in my chat in a long time and usually the bots I get now are those 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 all those always news bots um, well I go so the way that I how do I know that you're not a bot um, well, People are watching. I can't. I can't say. There is Alex Samuels. You're an Autobot. Um, well, we have a problem then. Here we go. Alex Samuels versus Venom. That match was 24 minutes and 44 seconds. Oh my god. Tiber, no, it's just I don't know, man. The uh, I no, they've been in here on wrestling streams, um, and it's so weird. Like they, like all that they do is that they sit in your chat and don't do anything. But they're also streaming this this thing called whole phase news, and I just I don't like that they're sitting in the chat because I feel like they're 
tracking chat and people that are in and out and you know what like i didn't want that crap so i usually report them and block them and blocking them will remove them from your chat it may not happen like right away but uh but it eventually does um you're probably waiting for you to run a giveaway that's also that that's also one too yep yeah. Yeah. 24 minutes and 44 seconds. That's insane. That is crazy. Double knees from Alex Samuels going in for the cover on Venom. One, only, oh, only a one count. Oh, no. That didn't take out his... Dit didn't take out as much as she thought it was going to. Samuels takes a headbutt from Venom. Yeah, I really want She-Hulk as our boss. I think I think she I think She-Hulk would be a good boss, but I don't want to break up the Break You Tag Team yet. Um. Actually, Break You and the Assassins are the last two non non player tag teams. Um Can she be the boss? No. Because setting her up as a boss, you have to do certain things to her to make her really really strong. Uh, strong. Uh, and I don't want to have to change those every single time because it's a pain in the butt. And uh, so, Maddie, if you actually, if you guys go make your tag team, I'll probably disband Break You, and then I'll make She Hulk our lady boss. Can you do another version of her? Yeah. Yes. But I only have limited number of slots for custom wrestlers. And I think I only have like seven left. And I'm expecting another two more wrestlers. Because the last, see, like it's either disband break you or disband the the, assa the assassins, and I kind of don't want to break up the assassins because they're the last of my co my cobra GI Joe thing. So, um, and breaking up break you would actually be okay with me because She Hulk's not going to go anywhere, right? So does that work? Okay, sure. Oh yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, and yeah. Just let just let me know anytime before Sunday, like by Friday day night or or Saturday night or something would be fine. Because by then I, I usually make the matches uh, and I create the Sunday matches on Saturday night. Oh no, what is Venom doing? I'm not going to miss this. Alex Samuels just laying out there. Has no idea. There we go. Sister Symbiote. No. Alex Samuels gets out of it. And oh, gets her up. And no. Oh, backbreaker. Down goes Alex Samuels. Just as we think Alex Samuels is going to start to fight back. Wow. I am hot. Like... I got like sweaty. I just felt it's almost like. Anyways, I don't want to say. Just oh no, I uh, gotta get rid of that. There is no boss battle ticket thing anymore. Like I got, I got, I got like a heat wave. You know. Manopause, some something like that. I don't know. I don't know. Like, it's just all of a sudden. And I can, like, touching my arm, it's clammy. Like, I'm all clammy.
Venom takes down Alex Samuels. Venom off the ropes and oh no. Drives her into that rope. Drives the neck down into that second rope. Venom going in for the cover, using the ropes. One, two. Samuels kicks her off. Venom with a kick to the midsection. Gut wrench suplex. Down goes Samuels. Yeah, I am hot. I don't know what it is. Boy. Samuels gonna work on Venom's legs. Ay, mama mia, those knees. You now choking her, like, hey, what do you got? Venom's got nothing. Got nothing on crazy Alex Samuels. Samuels trying to prove everybody wrong. The bet against her. Oh, no. Venom with the power bomb into the cover. One. Two. No. Samuels is able to get out of it, but Venom turns her over into a Boston Crab. Looking for a submission. Putting a lot of torque on that lower back. Samuels is able to break out of it. Samuels has got... A little bit of stuff left in her. Oh, no. Venom with the giant swing. Round and round. Samuels goes where she would be funny if she nailed Jeffy. Nope. There we go. <laughs> Whoops. Takes out Jeffy. Big clothesline. Another clothesline. Venom off the ropes. Spinning heel kick takes Samuels down. Where is she go? Oh, no. Here goes Venom again doing her Venom things. I don't, I don't know. Alex Samuels also has no idea. No idea. Here we go. Sister Symbiote. That might be it for Samuels. Venom going in for the cover. One, two, and three. Venom is your winner. Womp, 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 womp. Womp. Sorry, Alex Samuels. So sorry. Oh, my goodness. What? Why? So that one, like, I think our tag team, like, I, and I even lowered our health, uh, re, 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 reco recovery rate. And, uh, even then, our tag team matches are going long. Going long. Alright. Next match is for the Twitch Championship. Madison Windraker defends her title against Captain Marvel. Maximum best 1,000. Title's on the line. Captain Marvel winning the Battle Royal on Sunday. We'll have A-Bomb, the world champion, by her side. Madison Windraker looking to defend number three, I want to say. Bump, bump, bump. Oh. oh my goodness gracious. Okay, the Jojo. And it's for the Internet Championship. Yay, JoJo. She got it right. This Captain Marvel.
had a shot at the world championship several months ago got smoked actually at wrestlemania by lady red that was before she went under the training of maddie b maddie b has whipped her into shape and she is a much more lethal force in the ring now Is Madison Windraker, the women's Twitch champion. She's also co-holder of the women's tag team champions, Chips. Also the holder of the Money in the Bank briefcase, as she likes to show you right here. And we'll give her a shot at the title. Currently held by Velvet Dove. But that match will be next after this. Introducing the challenger from Boston, Massachusetts, the Captain Marvelous. Introducing the champion from Kyoto, Japan, she is the Internet Champion, Madison Quinn Drake Carr. Madison Wynn Drake are there is the belt Jeffy I'm surprised he can even walk around he's been getting nailed so many times tonight I don't know if he knows left from right up from down here we go 10 minute time limit Windraker starts off strong Marvel dodges out of the way Hangs her up on the top rope. Flings her back in. Windraker gets up. Responds with the jawbreaker. And again, Captain Marvel dodges. Wow, Windraker leapfrogs over Captain Marvel. Well, they both lock up. Marvel with the arm bar. Look in that arm. Knocks her, forces her down to one knee. Continuing to work on the arm, wear her down. I don't know. Oh, no. Super kick. Straight jacket suplex. Holy crud. When Raker responds with a hip toss. Captain Marvel with a kick. And takes Windraker out at the knee. That is might cause some damage it might play a factor in this match oh man a big stunner she goes in for the cover one no windraker kicks that at one i thought that was going to be it holy moly i was thinking cat captain marvel was going to uh Captain Marvel slugs Windraker down. I thought uh, they were going to make, make make up time for the uh, hit squad and ranks to zen the match. This has all been Captain Marvel. Windraker is going to be... has got a big uphill fight. If she wants to defend that title... I don't know if she's going to be able to hold on for eight minutes of this. Double feet right to the face. Don't you dare jinx it on me. I just call it as I see it, man. <laughs> Windraker. Hug up on the second rope. Marvel off the ropes and nails her from behind. Marvel throws her over the ropes, but Windraker's still on the apron. 
What is going on? Why is my stream? I have dropped frames. Why do I have dropped frames? I'm going to refresh my page. 106 dropped frames? That was weird. I just got an error 3,000 3, myself. I just had to re refresh. <laughs> Marvel with an elbow from the top rope. One. No, only a one count still. Win, Rick. You heard fireworks already? Maybe that's why my frames... Like, it shows that I have 108 frames drop, which is not a big deal. But, I don't know, there's something going on. Chin lock working, uh, trying to wear Windraker down. I don't know if that's the right thing to do, to be honest. You don't have a lot of time to wear down the champion. Time is not your friend in this match. We have never had a match go the full 10 minutes. We thought we were going to get one when Zorts took on nap time. Zorts won with 17 seconds left. Oh, my goodness. Madison Windraker, what is she going to do with her? Oh, that was a modified neck breaker. I'm surprised Marvel can even stand back up. Windraker, no. Marvel slides over the top. Now they both lock up. In the middle of the ring, they sh shoves her off. Kick to the midsection. Double shot right to the throat. Looks like they're both starting to get tired. I mean, Madison Windraker had a 24-minute match. Captain Marvel taking the turnbuckle off. Dodges, uh, Windringer dodges beneath the kick. Oh, and narrowly was missed by a super kick. Marvel, oh no, knee right to the side of the head. Windraker might be over. We're past the halfway mark. Marvel has just been all over Windraker. Jeffy right there looking for a submission. Can't she get it and become the new Twitch champion? No, Windraker sneaks out the back, trips up Captain Marvel. That turnbuckle is still exposed. Or the metal connector between the two ropes. Marvel just going ham on Windraker. Circles are going in for the cover. One... Two. No, Windraker kicks out at two. Windraker sensing the drop kick gets out of the way. Now I've got Captain Marvel into a ham hammer lock. Marvel breaks out with an elbow. Nails takes the champion down with a kick right to the face. Marvel to the top ropes. Big splash. Oh my goodness. Windraker. No, Marvel is not satisfied with that made the mistake of not going for the cover windraker reversed it delivering a shot right to the throat goes in for the cover one two no marvel up at two windraker win win windraker jesus Sizes up Marvel. Oh, no. Here we go. Windraker's dragon drop. Down she goes. That might be it for Marvel. It drives her crazy when they instantly counter after a big move. Yep. <laughs> Windraker in for the cover. One, two, and three. <laughs> Madison Windraker defends her title. And I think I may have just... Thanks to for Maddie B. This is how it usually goes. Man. Windraker defends the bell. I honestly thought Captain Marvel was gonna 
take that. That was all Marvel. And Laker is your winner. All right. And now our final match. I don't know, man. Windraker. A-bomb doesn't look too happy. He does not look too happy there. Here we go. 1,000 is the maximum bet. This was going to be a regular match. And Fraga spent 50,000 points to convert it into a title match. Giving JR the option, it's because he knows that he jinxed them. <laughs> oh, man. JR gets a title shot, a newcomer here. We'll go up against the two time, the only two time women's world champion, Velvet Dove. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the Women's World Championship. Hey, JoJo got it right. JoJo's, maybe she hasn't been drinking tonight. It's possible. Notice that they play um, this Cape from Tarkov quite a bit. Because he's on our Discord and I watch him play. Well, I don't watch him play, but I see what they're playing. JR. Was in the Canadian Queen of the Ring. Sorry, she was in the Queen of the Ring match for the Canadian Championship. And was the first one knocked out of it, which was surprising. I thought she was going to go far. JR. And here is the champ. Two time champion. Velvet Dove. Hey, Jojo. Let's see if she can do her thing. And so far, she's shown she's not drunk. Introducing the challenger from Springfield, Illinois, Sweet Jennifer, the Punisher, Rowdy. JR for short. Introducing the champion from parts unknown. She is the women's world champion, Violet Dove. JoJo got it right. JoJo's having a good day. There is the championship belt. 
Dove gives it over to Jeffy. Jeffy, I, I like I I don't know how Jeffy is still on his feet. This this guy. Here is the title. There is no time limit on this match. Belt can only change hands on. Oh, she was she was drunk earlier. That's right. Maybe she had a couple mugs or pots of coffee. Just just keep them coming. JR with the hammer lock. Irish whip into the corner. JR again now with an arm bar. Velvet Dove breaks out of it. JR dodges a clothesline, takes Velvet Dove down. Now JR off the ropes and nails her from behind. JR gets Velvet Dove up. And oh my god, I don't know what that is, but that's got to hurt. Velvet Dove catches a leg, takes JR down. Turns her over into a half Boston Crab. She's right by the ropes. JR will turn over and kick out of it. Velvet Dove with the jawbreaker. JR with the fireman carry takedown. Into the ropes. Dove. Oh no. Dove caught her and power bombed her right down to the mat. The world champion ain't taking no sass. Is she going to do her Dove's cry? Oh, I think she was going to sand her up for it. JR caught it. Turns her over. Half Boston Crab again. Favorite move of a lot of wrestlers. Velvet Dove will turn over and kick out of it. Didn't get a lot of time to really cinch it in. JR hung off. Hung, uh, hung off? Hung, hung up off the top rope. Dove only gets a one count here. Velvet Dove, Irish whip in the corner. JR, monkey flip back into the middle of the ring. And drops the elbow. She got some height. She just jumps straight up in the air. And dropped it down. Gets Velvet Dove up. And big sit down power bomb. Champion is taking a beating now. JR, what is JR doing? What was that? JR looked like she was listening to some techno music. <laughs> Go look back at it. There's a back brain kick by Velvet Dove. Now we're swipping to the corner. Velvet Dove now. They're both going to lock up. JR pushes her off. Kick to the midsection. She's got her in the position again and sit down power bomb. Not taking so much time with it this time. Nice hip toss. And Velvet Dove back in control. JR with an elbow gets to her feet. Dove takes takes the super kick. JR laying across her only oh two count. Velvet Dove gets the arm up. Velvet Dove. Kick to the midsection. And Scissors slams her head down into the mat. I thought Velvet Dove was trying to get her Dove's... I think here we go. Dove's cry might be coming up. No! A lethal booty! Velvet Dove with a lethal booty goes in for the cover. One... Two, JR gets out of it. Just gets the arm up at two. Velvet Dove taking it out on JR. Couple clotheslines and 
Kick right to the face. Takes JR down. JR, nice response with a European uppercut. Into the ropes now. And misses with the double knees. Dove got out of the way. Dove now. Irish whips JR into the turnbuckle. And JR just takes her. Just manhandles her. Dove spinning back. Brain kick again. Right to the back of the head. Dove sizing JR up. And misses with the lethal booty this time. JR shoves Dove into the corner. Takes her down. Stomps away at her. Now choking on her using the ropes. Jeffy ain't getting involved in that. JR going in for the cover. Using the ropes as leverage. One, two. No, Dove kicks out of it. Dove with a forearm. Code. Not that code breaker. Anyways. Code of silence. Something, something like that. Dove gets out of the way of a cross button. <laughs> they're, they're both jumping around and missing each other. JR with the elbow. Takes Dove out at the knees. Dove will roll out. I think she might be trying to leave. Because if, if JR wins by count out, the title will not change hands. Oh, maybe I spoke too soon. I don't know. She just runs in. Lethal booty JR right in the face. Two and three. Velvet Dove defends her women's world championship. Velvet Dove defends the title will live on to defend it another day I guess live 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 on I, I will go on JR don't look too happy oh the dove is your winner okay that is going to be it man we out yeah it's the tag team matches are taking forever Anyways, all right, we're done for tonight. Uh, I might stream tomorrow morning, maybe. A little bit of World of Warcraft. Uh, maybe Thursday. I'm not sure though. I'm just I'll, I'll post it in in my Discord if I if if I'm going to or not. Um, if not, I will see you. I'm I'm gonna be back on uh, Sunday morning for a regular show, and uh, we should be back to normal next week. So, hope you all have a great night. Wow. Good night, everyone. Even you, LB. Yikes. Uh, I am going to do a, a raid on, on Voodoo. And, um, yeah, because he's our, he's, he's, he is, he is our guy. So, you all have a great night. And uh, I'll check, you, check, I'll check you, I'll check, I'll check you all later. Check you all out later. I, I. Awkward goodbyes. Awkward goodbyes. All right. See y'all later.